what's disappointing is that you can only have one person on this quest at a time and it just takes so long to complete. Hey, this is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. The challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to have 100 babies and we also do quests that can earn us money or lose us money. So we're here in the Sparks family and unfortunately we have werewolves. And yeah, one of them is rampaging right now. That's just how it goes. Eventually, Quinn will get over. Oh no, it's Clover. Okay, so eventually Clover will get over it. I think that's our first teenage werewolf other than Paris herself. I don't think we have any other ones right now. So it would be nice if we could cure Clover because I don't think that Clover is going to have a werewolf aspiration. So she really doesn't need to be a werewolf. Oh, who died? Kendrick died. Okay, so I think Kendrick is actually Clover's father. And she keeps destroying my house. So the quest for today is actually to befriend the Grim Reaper and Paris has already done that. And this is the second time we've had that quest. So we get today for free and I think we might go to Granite Falls because Selena actually needs to harvest 10 unidentified plants and catch five fish. And right now she is possessed because last time we had her eat a bizarre fruit because at least one person in the household had to eat one. So here is something that I built when the horse pack came out and it's all horse ranch stuff, but I did add some other things just for this 100 baby challenge because I need some infant stuff and other things like that. But this place is huge. The only thing is the toilet is outside. So the only toilet is downstairs, but that's okay. I think it's funny that the infants can actually fall asleep in the back carriers. Oh, right. I need an open chair. Maybe this will work for Octavian to be able to learn how to stand. Well, Octavian's going to learn to stand, and that's the last thing he needs to do in order to age up. Happy birthday, Octavian. Now we only have one more infant. And Octavian is a charmer. Now, I only have one toddler bed, but I think that's fine because toddlers can sleep on the benches and on the floor, really. So I did not anticipate having two toddlers. Okay, Paris, you made a mess. Now you have to clean it up. Oh, it's Paris's birthday. She's going to age up somewhere in here. Paris is an adult. We still have lots of time with her though. And Nina rolled over onto her tummy so she can do tummy time by herself now. Great, my toddler is messy. This probably won't work, but you can try to snap them out of it. Oh, it actually worked. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel today and we get 70%. 70% of 22,894 is 16,026 for a total of 38,920 simoleons. Now, unfortunately, the next quest is to go to Sixum. Oh, and Paris just electrocuted herself. Well, if we want to stay in Granite Falls, then I'm going to have to unfortunately build a rocket ship out here. But maybe we can quickly get the last few plants and then we can go home. Oh, Pepper is now an adult horse, so now we can practice riding. All right, we did have to come to the National Forest to get the rest of that. I'm not even sure you can finish building the rocket in a day. This is taking forever. Ooh, installing a wormhole generator requires level 10 rocket science skill. Yeah, that's not happening today. 
Quinn was the one that made it the furthest, and he's only level six. Well, six and a half. So we have to spend the losing wheel, and we get 16%. That's not too bad. And 16% of 32,113 is 5,138 for a total of 26,975. Yeah, it hurts when you have a lot of Smolians if you lose a quest. And the next quest is to win a lightsaber duel. Well, unfortunately for that, we have to go to Batu, and I don't think you can take infants to Batu. I've tried. So maybe we can get a lightsaber without actually going to Batu. Well, we might be able to go if we can get Nina up to par. We'll see. So we need her to sit up, and we need her to stand, and we also need pincer grasp. And then we should be able to go to Batu. Well, sitting was easy enough. All right, and standing up was also easy enough. And she got pincer grasp with her first food. Well, this'll be easy, maybe. Well, we just need a birthday cake. And happy birthday, Nina. And she's going to be angelic. Well, you can't bring pets to Batu, but that's fine. The rest of us are here. Well, there's our first lightsaber. Well, Trinity is going to have our first lightsaber duel. I have to say it looks pretty cool, but it really doesn't have anything to do with the force, which is kind of disappointing. Oh, this certainly does take a long time. Well, I lost, I guess. What's disappointing is that you can only have one person on this quest at a time, and it just takes so long to complete. Yeah, Selena is level 8 fitness, so yeah, she won. Okay, we can leave Batu now. Now Trinity needs to earn silver at a dinner party. I guess we could have one. I think that we need a table and chairs, though. And here comes everybody to swarm the 8 servings of food. Well, that's silver. That's all we really need, but it would be nice to get gold so we can get a better reward. Oh, someone stole my table. Yeah, I have the sharing is caring neighborhood action plan on because I get random neighborhood action plans. And that one is kind of annoying. Okay, everybody go home now. We have gold. So we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 61%. Which is another 16,761 smolians. For a total of 44,238 Smolians. Now the quest for today is just to succeed at an odd job. And I believe it is Quinn who has odd jobs as his assignment. So he should probably do one tomorrow. Okay, since we have to do an odd job, we will try maybe this one because it's mischief. Here's the thing. I went to the beach the other day and dropped some of my wallets all over. Complete accident? What can I say? I'm an oaf. So uh, I'm looking for someone who can help me get my wallets back. Just need you to patrol the beach, check some bags, and see if anyone picked them up. I'll give you a percentage of whatever you find. Okay, so basically she wants a pickpocket, and she's going to give us 32 simoleons an hour. And dumb or discreet? Sure, we'll play dumb. But basically, I'm going to have Trinity do this one because we need to succeed at one. And if Quinn doesn't succeed, then we need to have more options. So I'll have everyone do one probably except for Paris. Okay, so do we actually have to do this or do we go to a rabbit hole? I think she actually has to do it. Great. Well, that means that we're going to have to go to Sulani. So I'm going to have to lock my doors for basically everyone because what is happening is I randomly get my counters stolen. And I think it's the ranch hand because the ranch hand is the only one allowed in other than household members. And it's like, I wish she, she would take something out in the yard when she's working. But for some reason, she comes in and takes my counters. And then I don't even know they're gone until I reload the game. For some reason, the game doesn't register that they're gone until 
a reload happens. Oh, she actually did go to the job. So Trinity is at work. I just didn't notice. It didn't give me a time or it just said ASAP. And I didn't notice that she went. Great success. It was an ingenious plan, really. Maniacal, even. It all started with a few loaves of bread. To begin, Trinity found a flock of hungry seagulls on the edge of a beach. It took but an hour to train them. A chunk of bread for a wallet. Beachgoers screamed as seagulls swooped down down upon them, swarming their bags for wallets, then flew off again, unstoppable, unrelenting, hungry. Not a single sim suspected Trinity might be behind the wallet abductions. The client got the goods, and Trinity got an extra large tip for bringing in a surprising amount of cash. Also, the birds got fed. Who doesn't love happy birds? Okay, we got 128 simoleons plus a 12 simoleon tip and relationship gained with Eleanor. Great, we're a thief, we're a pickpocket. Okay, Clover succeeded, Alex succeeded, and Selena failed. Okay, well, it is after midnight, so we get to spin the winning wheel, and we get 52%, which is another 22,596 for a total of 66,049 simoleons. Now this is good that we're getting this much money because we have one, two, three, four, five teenagers that need to move out. That's going to cost 100,000 simoleons. Now the next task is to license a song for a guitar. So we have some people that have some guitar skill. Oh, Trinity is already level 7. We should definitely have her do it then. Okay, it's time for 7 to age up since she has all of her skills at level 5 now. Happy birthday, 7. Oh, great. We have a goofball. These Sims will prank their own toilets and do so as often as possible. There's at least a cooldown on it now, but... It still happens way too often, and they should not prank their own toilet. And Seven is going to be a playtime captain. Oh, we're already done with the song. All right, now we have to actually practice some more so that we can get level nine, because we can't license the song until level nine. And we have a cute little chick. We keep getting chicks, but they're all rooster chicks. I want some more hens. All right, we licensed a song for guitar. Hurry up, stomp playfully on it before the water runs out. These things use an enormous amount of water. I would leave it out, but the stray cats and dogs tend to turn it on. And I have a feeling that visiting Sims will also turn it on. So I have to put it away in my inventory. Well, what wonderful weather we're having here in the Magic Realm. Oh no! Trinity got struck by lightning. Hurry up, Alec. Well, it looks like for some reason Rory is the sage of practical magic. I think maybe she was imported into the game, but still, she should not be a spellcaster. Okay, let's go find the magical moats. Oh, it actually is after midnight, so we get to spin the winning wheel since we licensed a song for guitar. And we get 5%. Whopping big deal. That's another 3,548 simoleons. And now we have a total of 74,511 simoleons. So the next quest is to roll a random color and buy everything of that color from 1, 2, or 3 three stores. So I have shops here that I have imported from one of the challenges that Dr. Gluon does for Rose's uh, house building challenge. And we have to go buy everything that is dark brown. Okay, we'll turn in our moats and maybe we should add Rory on Social Bunny just so we can get a spell out of her. Yeah, because if she's not a friend of yours, she won't give you a spell. She won't give you a potion. But she will turn you into a spellcaster no matter what. 
And Alec is becoming a spellcaster. This will actually be quite handy because for the weeds, the only thing that I have found that works is getting a spellcaster to help you. So the Floriorial or whatever spell, that spell, if you cast it on a bugged plant that has weeds, the weeds will go away and stay away. Even the fungal infusion from the herbalism skill doesn't work. Okay, he got scrubber root. That's not really what I wanted. Well, this is Bed Bath & Beyond by Darling Nikki. I've been in the store before and it is a lot of white. So the only thing that is dark brown in this store is this little bottle of suntan lotion and it's not even for sale, so therefore I do not have to buy it. Okay. Nothing else in this store is dark brown, which is sort of surprising. So that's one store down. This is the Most of Your Needs shop by Reviana7. And there are a lot of things in this shop that are dark brown. I think I'm going to go ahead and risk it and buy the things here that we need to buy. Not everything is dark brown, though. A lot of things are like a light brown, but these chairs and chase lounge are, oh, they're not too bad, but they count. Oh, and the plant pictures are actually not marked as for sale, so I don't have to buy them if they're not set for sale. And this is the little shop by Pip Menace. Now this shop has a lot more in it. So I'm not sure if some of these things are dark brown. What I did for the other shops or what I did for the shops is I looked in build by and copied this item and then filtered by dark brown. And if it remained there in the selection, then it's something that I have to buy. Now it's time for Octavian to become a child. Happy birthday, Octavian. We just have one more toddler left. And Octavian is vegetarian. That's slightly annoying, but not as bad as Goofball. And he's a whiz kid. All right, Trinity wants to eat an experimental dish. So I think we'll try going to a restaurant. I don't know if I have one in my game that will work, but we'll see. And of course, it is pouring down rain. Well, run inside, everyone. Okay, we'll go ahead and tip 100 simoleons to get a table extra quick, hopefully. Okay, we'll get a coffee for the teenagers. A soda for the one child. And I'm not sure what is experimental. I think the space taco with pearled egg core has got to be experimental. Everyone else gets a bamboo roll. Okay, apparently my guest's serve is off, but still she's serving the food. I don't care. I want my food. And in the middle of the restaurant, we're going to get up and start a fight. And that's worth 100 satisfaction points. That's the only good thing about making enemies with a mean sim, is that the satisfaction points are just phenomenal. Ah, uh, make an enemy again? Well, we'll make a group meal. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel. I kind of forgot about that. And we get 67%. Now, we also spent enough money to get three of the shops. So we get three times that amount. And that gives us another 127,334 simoleons for a total of 190,684 simoleons. Now, hopefully we can keep up this streak because if we get a huge loss, all of this could be gone instantly. Now, today is Saturday, so no one is going to be going to school. And our next quest is to plant a cow plant again. So I keep getting the same quests occasionally. And also this sharing is caring 
neighborhood action plan is going to annoy me because I've lost my stools twice already and the entire table is also gone. So yeah, we bought those items at the store and they're basically gone. And Alec caught a cow plant berry. So we're done fishing for today. Well, Sesto is actually old enough to age up because he's completed his aspiration. He has an A in school and he has high confidence. So happy birthday, Sesto. And he's going to be a music lover. And nerd brain is his aspiration. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 68%. That's another 128,541 simoleons for a total of 317,572 simoleons. Now we're just finishing up some things with Trinity. So she's working on a whole bunch of whims so that she can get 4,000 satisfaction points and she's almost there. Then she just needs to finish her lifestyle. She's not an indoorsy person yet. So once she does those two things, then she can move out and we can have another baby. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.